the scallop. Dude, I love you. Oh, that was awesome. But you know what would be even better? More insight on what is coming in August summer update number two. And I think we got new insight today based on a certain turkey jerk about what isn't going to be in the August update and what might finally be the Holy grail, after all of this waiting, all of this time, are we on the precipice of the pigeon? We've all had our eyes on those pearly prizes for almost two weeks now. We've been staring, we've been glaring, and frankly, I think I'm over diving. I mean, I got enough sea grapes to feed a village, I got all the mermaid furniture in the book, and I'm so freaking ready for summer update number two, which should be arriving in just about two more weeks. But today we're talking all about the most wanted updates, the crazy ideas that could make this game so much better. You guys have been rocking and rolling with ways to make diving so much more feature full with things that could be added to improve the experience and bring this game to another level, plus a character, a harvest hunk that I cannot wait to tell you about. Welcome to another wonderful show about the updates that this game absolutely deserves and hopefully will eventually get. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Thanks so much for being here. If you guys are pumped for that summer update number two, ready for fireworks to blow your mind, smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below which of these updates you would want most in the game or if you got a better idea, hook us up. Tell us in the comments. All I can do is bounce the ball and hope that Nintendo listens. And there's a new phone update that we gotta talk about because Marvel's got this super sick game called Marvel Future Fight and it just got its massive Immortal Hulk expansion. So now you can play as all the Hulks. It's a free game on iOS and Android and all you gotta do is click the link in the description down below to check it out. Plus every single click help Switch Force out a lot. I know a lot of you have been enjoying the Animal Crossing videos for a while now, and if you wanna be a friend to Switch Force and help us out, just click the link in the description down below. It'd mean a lot to me if you did, and then you can build out your own Marvel squad from all your favorite Avengers, all your favorite heroes, all your favorite Hulks. Take on the world with your team. It's a pretty cool game and a great thing to do on your phone when you're not cashing in those Nook Mile tickets. So click the link, check it out, and enjoy all those Immortal Hulk updates while we wait for our Animal Crossing updates. That's all I can do because you guys are rocking and rolling over on the Discord. Switch Strong is the happiest, most fun, best, kindest place to play, trade, talk, and share Animal Crossing with others. Make some friends. Make sure to check the link in the description down below. You guys can join the community and maybe even be featured in a video. We kick things off with an update to diving. A lot of you have been playing the game of snorkel swimming like Kirby on my hat, which I freaking love this hat, by the way. I'm such a big fan of the custom hats in this game. Ooh. Kind of look like a frog jumped down, but I think it was just a leaf. Anyhow, our first idea is from Tag. I think having mermaid tails and an option to use as wetsuits for diving would be so cool. It goes perfectly with the new mermaid furniture and would add a bit of fantasy and magic to the game. And this got me really thinking, Tag. What about adding, yeah, more magical items to the world. I mean, Hans, you look pretty magical in your purple hat. You're fancy and you're frosty. But could Animal Crossing get an injection of otherworldly items and creatures? I mean, everything's so grounded right now. I mean, even by the season, cicadas in July, it just makes sense. But mermaid furniture has people thinking, what if we did get mermaid tails to use as wetsuits? What if we could get more ethereal or paranormal or magical item sets? And I love that idea. I think functionality-wise, a mermaid tail would be so fun to swim with. I mean, Kirby has a little snorkel. We can get a snorkel. Let's move to the mermaid side. And then the idea of these fantasy items is so brilliant. Now, Random Doodle says, I wish there were tape to fix broken tools. So if tools break, they just turn into a broken tool and you can fix them, which is far more practical than a mermaid tail. But I love it, right? You spent all this time acquiring the golden axe and eventually your golden axe will break. I don't think I'm at that point yet, but I will get there and I will shed one golden tear. I should probably actually save that tear. Maybe I can get some bells for it, but in the meantime, it would be great to have a little tape item that you could buy if you wanted to repair your tools. Save the process. Quality of life. Nintendo, I love that kind of stuff. I do. Now, Apple Seed Island from the Mush Cult is coming in clutch with a big character, an NPC that needs to arrive in Animal Crossing New Horizons. He says, so there's an event in November called the Harvest Festival, and I believe that's when Franklin will be announced along with cooking and or growing crops. Now, this is challenging our preconceived notions of Summer Update number two, because I think a lot of us believe that Summer Update two will either focus on Brewster and the Roost, my baby, 
Okay. Or it'll focus on cooking and farming. But Appleseed thinks that farming and cooking is going to be saved for Franklin. Now, if you don't know Franklin, Franklin is a fantastic turkey. He is a little bit skittish, but he's got a great set of harvest items, and he would help you cook by requesting ingredients. You could go trade villagers to get them. This is in New Leaf, of course. And then you would cook his meals, like a soup and a salad and a main course and a dessert. And then he'd hook it up with harvest furniture. I mean, take a look at this stuff. It's very purple and very pretty. I want the harvest set in the game. Absolutely. No chance. Please make it happen. But that might be a November thing. Could Franklin come earlier? Probably not. So if, if, if cooking and harvesting is going to be attached to Franklin yet again, we probably are waiting a ways for that update. Four months or so. Three, four months. And therefore, I am going to say, I think, that summer update number two is almost for sure Brewster. Now, I can't be 100%. Nintendo does like to roll the dice sometimes, and they do surprise us. But what has been data mined most heavily, besides swimming and diving? It has been Brewster and the Roost. And what is something that a lot of players would love to have added to the game? And as we move into the months beyond summer and school and work resume for a lot of people, whether it should or not, no comment. But, coffee and warm drinks, and fall vibes as we transition from summer into the next season. I think it is more and more pointing to the Brewster Rooster, a.k.a. Zach. No, he's not a Brewster Rooster. He's a freaking Brewster Pigeon. You get that right? Okay, set it in your head. Got it. Okay, thank you. Never again. Brewster the Pigeon will be descending in August, and more and more, as I put away my 5,000 bells in my wallet, too full to take them, I think you're right, Appleseed Island. I think Harvest Festival in Franklin will happen in November. And I think we are so close to the flap event of our era. Now, Alyssa has a simple request. Nintendo, I wish we could decorate and customize the plaza, even if it's just seasonal items. Like, let us put something there. I know Nook is a little OCD, and he's like, no, nothing in my plaza. But come on, Isabel, come out and, and soften the dude's fur. Let us drop some nice items to decorate. It would be really fancy. Now... I don't want to, well, I won't even say this. this is, I don't want to spoil, but I can't really say. Okay. Alyssa, it, I get what, I think her idea is good. Really good. Lil Gordo. Oh, Lil Gordo. I love your idea, Lil Gordo, but I got to call you out because you posted this like 20 times. And if you're going to post an idea over on the Discord, once is enough. I read them all. My eyeballs are always on the skies and the tweets and the Discord for updates, data mines, and ideas. So don't worry. Once is enough. But Lil Gordo, your idea was so good. I still had to include it, even though you kind of broke the rules. I think it would be cool if they added geology. You could get different gems and rubies from the ground or rocks, and it would add a new museum upgrade. Boom! My eyeballs are flying through the sky like two 747s. Everyone has masks and the air is filtered and there aren't even flight attendants. It's just robots. Don't worry. But geology. Now, geology sounds boring on the surface, but look how much fun we had, at least in the initial era, of diving for anemones and urchins. Now, you add something that you can mine and rock and give Blathers even more in his beautiful spot. Another room, another section. This is great. I'd love to collect diamonds and emeralds. That would be so fun. Pearl hunting has been a mission for many of us. Now imagine if you could do that with precious gemstones and then display them in a glorious... Oh, Nintendo would do it up so nice. It would be a dimly lit room with beautiful different colored lights and these excellent displays of the fanciest jewels and treasures, right? Treasures and jewels. It aligns. Gulliver eventually could be the one that maybe leads us on this quest. And uh, Captain Gaming kind of builds on this by saying... So the diving update came out and it's really fun. So something I want to see are mainly found on RNG islands. And this would be like mystery islands, right? It would be sunken ships, sunken volcanoes, or maybe a form of ruins. These sunken places can be seen underwater and can contain treasure chests with cool treasures like bells, gold nuggets, maybe even rare furniture, or of course, little Gordo's gemstones. It would be cool to see another set like a sunken sea set, similar to the sunken city of Atlantis, or just fun ways to get extra treasure oh my goodness more work on mystery islands besides just villager hunting and occasionally a good fish or a few money rocks i love it if diving and swimming were about finding the fish creatures and the pearls on your island but diving and swimming became about these excellent adventures and memorable rng events on other mystery islands that would be amazing. Now, Nintendo is most likely not going to add a bunch of Mystery Island deep sea diving adventures, pirate ships, and ruins. But they could do a one-off event in the same way that Rover's Museum or Rover's Maze was such a fantastic May update. 
Imagine if there was Gulliver's sunken ship update where you went to a mystery island and Gulliver was ready to go with a dive down below and explore an exotic area with a special furniture item reward. That would be brilliant. Goodness gracious, Captain Gaming, Little Gordo, I'm fusing your ideas. We're getting gems underground. We're swimming deep to the seas, and Gulliver is there to do it all. Or Gulliver, or a new Gullivero, who is the explorer extraordinaire. I love this. And every time I read ideas like this, it makes me so... Oh, I just wish I could go and apply the Animal Crossing team. Look, we got the book. We got the journal of ideas. Flip through it, Nintendo, and look and make this game legendary. I mean, it's already phenomenal, but... Some of these are so good. Banana Man says, I would like to see surfing with the surfboards because you can now swim. Also a way to give your friends fish, like put them in a cooler on your dock or something, and anyone can grab it. Yes, mermaid tails to dive, and it would be great if we did have the opportunity to surf on the surfboards. More things with the water. Now that you've added water as an explorable area on our islands, it would be so nice if we could actually do more than just spot the bubbles and get sea anemones stuck on our skin. Sherry TDC has a fun one from her 11-year-old son, saying there should be something similar to the fishing tournament and bug off, but with Pascal, and I love this idea. Get a couple of minutes to collect sea creatures and get extra points if you get a pearl, then trade your points at the end for a mermaid underwater swag. I love this. Now, I don't know if any of you have been bothered or bugged by the bug off and the uh, fishing tournament because the gear is the same. The rewards are the same. So if you're someone that pushed for 300 points the first time, you're going to be a little bit bored by these events. And I do hope that Nintendo eventually refreshes the prizes for these pretty sweet events. Otherwise, they're never going to be that fun again. So I love the idea of adding another in the form of Pascal Diving. Again, it's all about taking advantage of this new area of play and making sure it stays very flexible and fun for the long haul. Now, Sunflower Sniper is getting bored of weed collecting. It says they need to add weed whackers where you can hold down and run around with, with it and it breaks after 100 with flimsy and 200 with normal. They just go through and basically mow the lawn, crash the grass, and take out the weeds, which isn't a bad idea. I think Nintendo likes the slow and steady approach. And in some ways, weeds do add to the aesthetic. You also have Weed Co., which can come and clean your island if you want. We've done an interview with them and they run a pretty sweet operation. But I do like your idea. And I like Estelle's. Okay, hear me out. Flippers you can purchase that make you swim faster or a DIY you can get to craft faster flippers from recycled trash. Goodness gracious, another usage for the boots and the tires that do me no good. I got a scallop! Pascal in the video? Oh, it ought to be savored. Mmm. So yummy. Right on cue. Thank you, my buddy. I love you. Have you guys seen members, by the way, the new Pascal emoji for streams? Ooh. It's so cute. Anyhow, flippers to go faster would be nice. And part of my biggest problem with diving is how long it takes to do it. So if I could go speedier, even though it's repetitive, and even though I have all the grapes I need, maybe it would get me more inclined to get back in the water. Now, Pascal, hey, you can have my scallop. Don't get the crumbs on your face. And we're going to chase the little boy. This is what everyone says that I need to do. And everyone's always trying to say, you got to chase Pascal. Square isn't a shape, it's a state of mind. Wrap your noodle around that. Today is a good day. Now follow that bird. He swims off screen and we say, come on, I want to see him munch. I want to see him munch. Let's go. Here he goes. Ah, uh, there he is. There he is. Look, he's swimming away. He's swimming by. Backstroke. Backstroke. Your cap is probably so soggy and heavy, but I love you and you're swimming towards me. It's like you want to... Oh. oh my god, Pascal, you're so cute. He's adorable. If you guys haven't tried this at home, definitely swim with Pascal once or twice. It's a pretty fun time. Oh, there he is munching. You see him munching? He's munching. He's eating the scallop. My buddy. Oh, he ate the scallop. Dude, I love you. Start that tournament, Pascal. We want to die for prizes. How cute. As we swim back to shore, Insomnia says sea creature models. We need them badly, Switch 4, Zach. The new Abyss sea creatures look so cool, and we don't have a model for them. Yeah, I was sad that you're not able to go and, like, make a model of some of this stuff. It's weird that CJ wants nothing to do with it, and obviously Pascal isn't a part of the, the program. I wish that someone else would come and allow us to make models. Now, some of the, uh, the shark models have been kind of disappointing, and they're not as big as you'd like them to be. But they could, you know, right their ways by making these... Deep sea creatures, truly dark, mysterious, and massive. Last but not least is from Ho Jun San. They keep adding items, but not enough space to store the items. Do they expect us to sell all the clothes and furniture items that we get once the season ends? Hopefully they really upgrade the house storage and the island size. I don't know anywhere where to put the new mermaid and or new Gulliver items. 
I really don't want to create a second character in the game just for storage. Now, I think there's a lot of storage spaces, but I know people who are playing the game obsessively are running out of spots. More for me, it's running out of house spaces. I would like more rooms so that I could make, you know, a room full of cicada models if I really wanted to be weird. Or if I want to have a permanent mermaid spot, I could create that lounge. And right now it's a little difficult because you only have a couple of rooms and you have all these different sets and you can't possibly lay everything out at once. Now that's part of choice and you have to make a creative decision of how your island is going to take shape. And I do like that everyone's is a bit different because of the overwhelm of different items that you can't possibly store all of. But I hear you, Hojun san and I think that eventually, as the year progresses, Nintendo might want to upgrade the house or the storage. I don't think they'll upgrade the island size, but hey, never say never. Well, everybody, that'll do it for this week's fan updates. Hope you enjoyed the video and the awesome ideas. Ooh, that Gulliver combo, deep sea diving, ruby gems. I love it. And the knowledge that I think Franklin is going to save cooking and farming for fall, and that means Brewster might be so close. Oh, it just got me so freaking pumped. I hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure to join the Discord server. It's a bright spot on a crappy year. If you're looking for a fun place to just relax or make some friends, link in the description. Check it out. Also, grab that Marvel Mobile game if you're interested. Even if you just click the link, it does help switch force out. So I'd appreciate if you just click on it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what update you want most. Special shout out to my members. Mwah, I love you. I love all of you, though. So until next time, have a fantastic day. Thanks again. Switch force out.